<laughs> yeah. <laughs> How cool of a place is this? Are you kidding me? I saw this on the map accidentally when I was looking at things to do up in the Antioch and Pittsburgh area because quite frankly, I wanted to beat a little bit of the heat that I could. And anytime you head up toward water, I learned this from living in a van for practically the last year. Anytime you head toward the water, usually a nice little breeze and a little bit of a drop in temperature and that holds true today i'm here in antioch at the red caboose restaurant check this out a real old santa fe red caboose now it's a dining car and they got a cool restaurant a cool bar really neat people that work here friendly inviting and very informative the one of the ladies was telling me that not only is this a great place to eat, and I asked, well, how's the bar scene? You know, it seems like a cool place to hang out outdoors, have some drinks with your friends, you know, good nighttime activity. She said it's great, and furthermore, at nighttime on the weekends, as you can see, they got a stage and a dance floor right here. So, anything's possible. She said mostly rock and roll on Friday, Saturday nights Sunday is country night and that's when they put that dance floor to good use that's right you come out here line dancing on Sunday might catch me here randomly doing a little a little a little how you doing I don't even know how to line dance at all but <laughs> anyways I just wanted to pop in and tell you how cool this spot is and if you're in the Antioch area check it out Oh, there's the good stuff coming in.
<laughs> I don't know what this thing is. It's what I refer to as purposely pointless. Now, that's probably a nice art installation somebody was commissioned to do for some reason that will remain unknown to me unless some commenter points out my inadequacies of research before doing a video about a place I've never been to, uh, probably will never return to again. <laughs> Julie said it's like walking through a line at Disneyland. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. It looks like, even though I'm sure that sign back there, the biggest sign of rules ever for a park, probably said no skateboarding. Well, why, <laughs> why are you putting the best skateboarding thing ever out here? Like just rail slides for days out here. I'm here in the underground bowels of the Antioch Historical Museum run by the Antioch Historical Society, if you can believe that. Just walking through a little bit of a sports hall of fame from the area. This is a cool little local history museum here in Antioch, California. And what makes it really cool is it is built inside of the original high school built here in Antioch. I believe it was only used as a high school for about something like 20 years. And then other, uh, I think the fire department used it for a while. Some other businesses and city uh, organizations used it till the historical society got it, turned it into a real cool museum. Walking around, a lot of cool little curations, little scenes set up, little snapshots in time of local history. Not too long ago, I stayed on the Delta King Riverboat Hotel down there in Old Town I was talking about. And wouldn't you know it, right here, that's the original wheel from the Delta King itself. And the original little pointer deal jobby. And above me, the original sign from the Delta King. How super cool is that? So if you've never been to Antioch, come on down here to the Antioch Historical Museum. The gateway to the Delta, as they call it, right?
Today I've been exploring the little town of Antioch, California, right here on the San Joaquin River, part of the San Joaquin and Sacramento River Delta system. This here is a cool little park. Earlier today, we checked out some other spots, but we finally came over here, watched the sunset. I wanted to get as close to this bridge as I could. I'm not sure what this bridge is called, what they're calling it nowadays, if it's the Antioch Bridge, but it's the one that goes over and takes you down into Rio Vista over uh, on some kind of island. I can't remember the name of it. Insert name here. And anyway, so we came down here to check out the sunset. Another cool thing about this area is, and I kind of chuckling to myself because I was filming a sign back there that says no camping. And well, that's kind of funny and ironic because this is the location, the placard over there marks the location of where Juan Batista de Anza camped with his like 192 man party on his exploration of San Francisco and the Bay Area. Well, they made it all the way down here. That was his 101st campsite. And there's a plaque there to mark such the occasion. But nowadays, 2021, no camping, nothing doing. How's about it? Sagabadi dubo. Bon don ding dong. see some good birds. Let's just see. Nope, don't oh. care. <laughs> Landscape improvements. Nope, don't care. <laughs> About your corporate advertising. <laughs>